Just days after its inauguration, President of the Nigerian Senate, Ahmed Lawan, has been speaking on the direction in which he intends to steer the Ninth National Assembly. Lawan, while promising a policy of accountability, said top on his priority list is ensuring unity among lawmakers. The Senate leader says he expects members of the National Assembly to speak with one voice and work with one mind for the benefit of all Nigerians. We hope to have a National Assembly that will work uh, optimally and patriotically. We also uh, hope to have a National Assembly that will work with the exact arm of government in a partnership and synergy to ensure that we perform our functions as a government because we are a single unit. I also foresee a National Assembly that will insist that whoever has a responsibility in government performs that responsibility because it takes all of us to work together to ensure that uh, no part or nobody is left behind. If there is anyone that is deficient, it will cost the system. So we are going to work very hard. We would like to catch up the lost grounds uh, over the last four years. I'm sure we do not perform uh, to our capacity as a National Assembly in the last National Assembly. This time around, we want to perform to full capacity. And by the grace of God, Nigerians will see a difference, positive difference, in terms of delivery of service uh, to our countrymen and women. I want to also show Nigerians effectively with the executive arm of government to pass the 2019 budget within three months. It takes two sides of government to pass the budget in good time. And I'm sure that the executive side of government would like to see a situation where the budget is presented before the National Assembly uh, in a good time like September or early part of October. And by the grace of God, we in the National Assembly will ensure that we carry out the budget defense and then we do the remaining part of the processes and before we leave for Christmas break, the budget would have been passed and Mr. President would have had the budget before him to sign an assent.